to me, it's, that's a matter of. of um, There's a law that states if you're if you're. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> you understand if I. <laughs> uh, turn the mic on. <laughs> you understand? If somebody is in a fight with somebody else, that shouldn't disqualify them from owning a gun. No matter who that person is, like whether it's their wife, their friend, their total stranger, I don't care. If you if, if two people got pissed at each other and they got in a fist fight, I really don't care if it's their wife, their friend, or their perfect stranger. Bob's broken nose would hurt much as just as much as my wife's. That's right. Like like the the face. the distinction to me has no has no no business being made legally. So, I mean, if you want to say, look, anybody who commits a violent crime can't ever carry a firearm again, you also have to bear in mind, some people are wrongfully convicted of that. Yeah. Yeah, and you're for, right on that. Some There are people that are wrongfully convicted. And not only are there some people that are wrongfully convicted, there are lots of times <laughs> where somebody who has been, for instance, like let's say you got into a bar fight. Okay, you got an afterburner. Yeah, an afterburner with (laughs) David. Afterburner, right? You know? With David.